Hey everybody, welcome to our Kentucky home. We are on baby watch. This is Wednesday and I had these, there's 11 eggs in here and they should be hatching by the weekend. And then I have my second incubator going and they'll be hatching out next week. So hey guys, I know we've been kind of MIA for, I don't know, week and a half or so. Um, so I just came out of the laundry room. That's where my incubators are. So we're getting ready for new babies and um, they're gonna be, they're the Lavender Orpington chicks. We had put, I think it was either three or four Buff Orpington eggs in that first incubator, the ones that are gonna be hatching in the next couple days. I think the ones that I took out that weren't fertile, I'm pretty sure all of those were the Buff eggs because Willie just isn't, um, um, he just isn't doing his job. But Hank is, and um, so both of those incubators have um, lavender Orpington eggs in them. And um, the second one, it is all lavender eggs. Um, I, like I said, I can't remember for sure if there's still a buff egg in that first one, but I don't think so. So since I'm gonna be having chicks in a couple of days, I've got to go up and clean out that um, brooder box where we had our other chicks and um, get it ready for the new babies. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so I am also on baby watch up here. Um, I'm going to see if I can close them up in here, if I can get the dogs off of me. Hang on. Okay, let's go. So I'm going to put a little, they've already been fed this morning, but I'm going to put a little bit of feed in here. I want to try to check. <laughs> they've got their heads in the bucket. Here, Heidi. Here, Heidi. I want to try to check her ligaments. So her ligaments are still not soft. Um, so I guess she's still got a while to go. There's a way to check, and I'm no expert on it. I've never really done it, but I've read enough about it and watched enough stuff to know what to feel for and I can still actually feel her ligaments uh, right at the base of her tail and um, so but I did notice this morning that her tail is kind of drooped and um, she seems to be her tail seems to be more down than it normally is so i thought that was odd that just kind of stood out to me this morning but uh one thing too is they say they really get hollowed out looking here on the, the their sides when the kids drop when they're getting close to going into labor but i don't know if you can tell that her her um she's really starting to bag up she's um getting milk and um so i don't know see because i don't know what her due date is <laughs> let me get them out of this bucket i don't know exactly what her due date is because i don't know exactly when she was bred so we're just kind of having to watch get down pudding Hey, here's Dozer, <laughs> and here's Kino. They're doing good. They're good boys. Yeah, they're good boys. All the chickens are doing good. Everybody's doing good. All the chickens are laying eggs like crazy. So that's good. No, you can't have any more. You had enough. So that's what's going on here. We're... Waiting for babies of all kinds. Baby chicks. Baby goats. I wish I knew. Uh, 
I wish I knew when her due date was. I can't imagine it can be much longer. Um, unless the lady we got her from is way off on when she was bred. Get out, Ida. You'll knock my thing over. Um, from what she told us, she wasn't, you know, for sure. But from the dates or the time that she gave us, it would have been like around the end of March, the beginning of April. So we're in the beginning of April now. So, but I don't know. Like I said, from what I've read of checking their ligaments, to me, I don't feel like they're, but I don't, I don't, I didn't really, I didn't get to feel them like before she was, you know, getting close. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm feeling for, but I know they say they like disappear. They basically turn to mush, um, but I could still feel the two ligaments on each side of her tail. But I just can't imagine if it's anywhere close to the time that she gave us that it I mean it couldn't be more than a week or two I don't think because I actually thought it would be like now or like she would have already had them from what she told us so I don't know anyway I do know she's going to have a baby or or babies I just don't know exactly when so it is really chilly here today I'm just scooping this out while I talk to you guys. Um, so it's really chilly today. It's really windy. And um, I think maybe might be another chance of rain for this afternoon. But yesterday, as I'm sure everybody knows, the weather was pretty rough. We were very blessed, though. Um, there were literally tornadoes all the way around us north south east and west of us um we didn't get anything severe here um it was you know kind of windy all day but not we didn't even get real high winds um got quite a bit of rain but uh god is good and he he kept us safe and uh I haven't heard, I know some places are getting the severe weather today, further south and east maybe today, but um, I haven't heard of any fatalities. I'm hoping that's the case. I haven't seen anything. And of course, I don't watch the news. I just see kind of what's on Facebook or um, YouTube. So I do know there were, I did hear of a few injuries last night. I don't know. Um, much more than that, but I, um, I sure have been praying that, that there, there wouldn't be any. So anyway, we, uh, we were very thankful that we didn't get anything too bad. Okay. So I've got this kind of scraped out. I might have to scrape a little more out. I think what I'll probably do is what I did the last time. And um, lay those for the just the first couple of days, lay those pads down, and then I'll do what I did with these other chicks and switch it over to um, the pine shavings. And in, in a few days, after, you know, after the hatch, it's going to be, um, I think they'll start hatching on Friday, but maybe Saturday. You know, it's always like give or take a day because sometimes they can start hatching early and sometimes it's a day or two supposed to be 21 days but you know it kind of varies so we'll see so i have to go in and get a pad for this so john and i we really want to find some morel mushrooms um a lot of people have been finding them in kentucky um and they've been finding a few in our area like last week, but we went out, I guess it was last Friday, and looked around a little bit. I don't know, it was Friday or Saturday, maybe. 
we didn't find any but we hadn't had any rain so a lot of people were saying because we follow a couple of groups the you know mushroom groups on facebook and people were saying that after this rain because it had been so dry that after this rain that they should start popping up um like you know over the next week so maybe this weekend we'll go out and and hunt around a little bit and see if we can find any i'd love to have some because they are delicious if you've never had them they are so good so i want to let you see the how good my babies are doing and how big they're getting now watch they'll probably come running out the door when i open it back up back up babies they're so funny usually when i open that door they come running out to greet me don't you yeah this yeah that's my ring they're fascinated with my ring they always want to peck it but these they're real pale yellow almost white they are so friendly see how they'll just let me pet them and they're not real jumpy and actually most of them are this little gray one she's the one that's been kind of been my buddy but she's actually a little more jumpy than than these ones are these real light colored ones i can just pet them and hold them yeah you want to sit on my lap there you go there you go is that fun you want to come up here too come on come on you can come up come on up <laughs> they're just get all getting so big it won't be long probably like next week because i think it's <laughs> she's just so friendly um there you go i think next week it's supposed to warm back up again real really good so they'll be able to go outside and that's going to be exciting isn't it do you want to come up here my little friend no okay <laughs> hi honey you want to come up here come on up here come on up here they're so cute come on come on up here Oh yeah, my rings. They like shiny things. But they're getting really big. Oh, she's trying to jump back up here. Come on. Try again. Try it again. Come on up here. You can do it. She tried to jump up and didn't make it. You can do it. They're all so curious. <laughs> They eat nonstop, and you're going to have to have some water pretty soon. Oh, look who came up here. <laughs> I've tried to um, do this, come up here and just, you know, handle them a lot, touch them a lot, reach down and pet them, hold them when they'll let me hold them. There's some of them there that are more flighty and... Um, aren't interested in me touching them or getting real close to them. And some chickens are just more like that. Some are more flighty, some are more docile. And uh, which I know the Buff Orpingtons, you know, I'm pretty familiar with them. They were my first chickens and they're, um, you can just make pets out of them. Some of these others are just really friendly too. This, one, this is my little gray one. She she gets up there because she's trying to get closer to me um but some of these others like they're really friendly too they're they're just come right up to me the one jumped up in my lap it might have been this one say hello that's a real close-up that's good yeah and see here she's trying to get even closer do you want to come over here look what if i put my knee over there you can walk right across do you want to walk across hmm? There you go, you did it. 
he did it. See, she's not real crazy about me touching her. But now these light colored ones, they're just... Oh, look, she came back up on her own. Yeah, see? You can do it. They love my rings. And if you have chickens, you know this, that if you wear red fingernail polish, your chickens will peck them because they think it's blood. Look, she's just making herself at home up here on my lap. Yeah. Yeah, she's kind of been my buddy from day one. She's usually the first one to run out the door when I open it. But I just wanted to let you guys see how... Look at them up there. They're so cute. Sometimes we come up here uh, if it's late in the evening, and there'll be uh, almost all of them up on the roost bars. They were getting to be big girls. Yeah. So cute. Oh, you getting my fingers. Get my fingers. I feel one behind me pecking my boot. <laughs> it was the gray one. <laughs> Oh, now they're all pecking my boot. Yeah, I'm sure I've got stuff stuck on the bottom of my shoe. All right, I'm going to go out. It's I'm usually having to push them back in when I'm trying to get out because they try to follow me. Nope, stay in. All right, so I got that. I actually scraped some more stuff out of that after I stopped the, the camera. And then I went in and got a, a pad for that. So all I'll have to do... All I'll have to do is put food and water into them when they start hatching. Sorry, I'm pretty much a mess. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that we're on Baby Watch. Baby chickens, baby goats. I'm so excited for the baby goats. I can't even tell you. Because I've, I've never, this will be a first for me. Um, having kids. These kind of kids. So, I'm just, just waiting. We're just waiting, aren't we, Heidi? Yeah, can't be too much longer, can it, girl? It can't be too much longer. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have babies, to, uh, Pudding. We're going to have new babies. Won't that be exciting? And Kino and Dozer are going to have more, more babies to take care of. Yeah. Yeah, because they're good protectors, aren't they? They take good care of you. Yes, they do. You're a good boy, Kino. You're a good boy. <laughs> These girls are wanting me to let them out. I've been letting them out just almost every day last week. Um. <laughs> oh, Heidi's pushing you out of the way, Jojo. I've been letting them out almost every day. To They come out here in the yard, munch around on grass for a long time. And they love that. Oh. Heidi's wanting all the attention, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> I might let you out after a bit. All right, guys. I guess that's all I've got for today. Um, I just wanted to update you on... I don't think I had mentioned that I had eggs in the incubator. So, um, we're going to be having babies soon. And to update you on Heidi, that, you you know, we've got to be close to having babies. Goat babies. Kids is the proper term, but I say goat babies. Anyway, I will keep you guys posted on the babies, the feathered ones and the four-legged ones. So, until next time, God bless.